Well, hey there guys, what's going on? I got a very beautiful padlock here for you tonight. This is going to be a Lockwood Asset Abloy 334C45. Got this padlock in today. Very, very beautiful. Shiny, shiny. This is right up there with uh, Avis. Um, I actually think these are really very well made. As you look down inside, set screw. Very well made padlock. I mean, very good quality, very beautiful. If you guys are into padlocks, you guys are going to have to check out Lockwood. They make some very, very stunning padlocks. So there's a look at it right there. I'm going to go ahead and lock them up. Show you guys the key bidding. I don't know what keyway this is. There's a look at the key bidding right there. It's going to be a five pinner. Uh, this lock does, it does work with the key. There it is, unlocked. Go ahead and lock them up. Get the key out of there. Um... With this padlock, when I got the lock in, I was shocked at how beautiful it was. I thought I'll do an out of box picking. I should have done that, but I didn't. First thing I did was I'll try bottom of the keyway tensioning. So I stuck a southward standard tension tool in there. And so before I pick this lock, I'm sure you guys can see this on camera, but uh, that's about all the movement you get. <clears throat> even with the false sets and the plug. Um, the lock does go into a little bit of a deep false set towards the end as you're picking it, right before it opens. But that's about it. So I'll try to give you a blow-by-blow. Blow. And I was going to use my South Ord Max black handle plastic super-duper picks. And I thought, no, I'm just going to go with the just the standard South Ord short hook. And I got the heat shrink tubing on there. Just to make the metal handles a little more comfortable. So, I'll try to give you blow by blow. But with the shallow spool pins in this lock, it uh, it can go quick. So here we go. Light tension. That's pin number two, I think. There's pin number one set. I went in and out of a false set. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. Pin number two, in and out of a false set. There was three. Then drop something. Maybe. Back to pin number one. Think I got him set. There's one. No, I'm messing this up. There's one. There was three, I think. Let's go deeper in the lock now. And I got four set, but one keeps dropping back down. Got them set, I think. Very smooth inside. I don't know why Lockwood's not being sold in North America. They're a very, very good lock. Very top quality. Let's get this picked open. There it is, right there. Very, very smooth. I mean, this is like buttery smooth. So there it is, picked open. Using my Southward short hook. Standard short hook. Very beautiful padlock. Let's lock them up. We're at four minutes. Let's lock them up and try to get this picked open a little bit quicker with my shiny, shiny South Ord jackknife. I'm just going to be using the <coughs> short hook tip. Let's get this guy picked open here. Hopefully you guys can see that plug. Very, very, it's very hard to see the counter rotation. You can see it on my tension wrench and my index finger a little bit better.
real close now, I think. There it is, picked open again. Very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. This is really a beautiful padlock. Very well made. I think this is probably one of my one of my favorite padlocks out of all the padlocks I've handled. This would be a very, very smooth, very well made, very beautiful. Look at that shine on there. Oh my goodness. So if you guys haven't got any Lockwoods, I would try to get some. Very, very well made. I don't know why they're not being made or not uh, being sold here in North America. Um, I'm not sure about Ireland or the UK where Jim is and uh, Wallach C2. But yeah, wow. Very stunning. Just <laughs> I'm in awe with this padlock, guys. Very, very beautiful. So there it is. That's going to be the Lockwood Asa Abloy. 334C45, just a stunning padlock. Um, might have to zoom in here just a little bit, see if the focus will focus up a little bit. There we go. See if that does any better. Eh, it's not too bad. It's a very good looking padlock, guys. If you guys can get one, I'd definitely add it to your collection. You will not be disappointed. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, you guys have a good one.